First of all, uh, this is Jaman from Future IT Vision. Uh, today I will be showing you how to uh, use the Git with IntelliJ. It's a basic part. The first part I will be showing how to first time project push to the repository with IntelliJ. Uh, it's very easy to use and uh, I mean I insist guys please try to do through IntelliJ and you will be save your time without any issue. Let's see how to do that. For that uh, you need uh, uh, you need uh, GitHub uh, which is you have a github account if you don't have create one github account if you don't know how to create please see uh, what my first video you can see that so now for that um, I'm going to create a one repository I'm going to give the name git demo remember uh, keep the repository name uh, based on your project name that is uh, this thing should be easy uh, I mean you should follow like this way the convention is better and we can conflict the uh, less conflict you get so now I'm gonna I'm not done to any description you can put I don't run description uh, kit repository done repository is created but you will see over here they provide you some command which is this says and for new repository, we can command line, uh, create a new project command line, you can use this one. Or who already have repository, you can use this one. Still, if you use this command, you'll be some say some issue. That's why I'm showing you how to do that. Let's do it, guys. So now, I have a project, a demo project in uh, somewhere I created. What is the name is a demo git. So uh, this is my IntelliJ I can open now. So I enter the opening and uh, okay, and I can import or open. I could open. It's in application. I keep it. This project. Uh, this is my demo project. I go inside. I find a pom file and I open it and open a project and as a delete and I just import project. Okay, boom. So my project is opening. Cool guys. So now you will see here project. So uh, done. So now first things you will see in the bottom the terminal. So you go to open the terminal, and if you put the uh, over here first job you have to do git init. So now they say okay, the repository over here done. So now then when you say git init. So you have to be commit your project. So left side project, right click over here, right click, git commit directory. No changes. Uh, let me do some ch changes because this already have existent. That's what the problem happening. So now escape this, and I can change something over here. Uh, put some word. So. Uh, comment out this is a test comment this okay and again uh, commit git commit directory okay you'll see some changes here click the commit okay okay test should be some messages this is fast commit for now, cool commit. This procedure only first time when you do that. Okay, I mean, first time you're pushing uh, your project to the GitHub. So now your file is already here. So now, before I use that, first we use the git in it, then we did some changes to our project, and I say git commit, uh, right click here, and git. And commit directory so commit is done so now what I have to do so very simple now we have to push these things in our repository so now we don't have repository URL where you want to push so you have to go back over here over here copy this so this is the URL for git and command so copy and paste in the terminal and then 
So remote origin already exists. This says this already exists. Okay, cool. Because if you don't have exist, you will be see uh, you will be see nothing return. Is because I have already exist. This always showing that it's already exist. So now uh, I have to put the git push u origin master. Okay, cool. Because I have to put the change. So guys, I my remote originally exist. That's why this already showing this exist. But if you do first time, you will be see nothing written here. Okay, when you add you add this command, so you will be nothing get written. That means your you know your remote repository is add add it's already added. Then you use the this command git push your origin master. Okay, you see is pushing to the app okay cool so now looks like we are 100 percent pushed to the this repository okay you can go through over here click here or you already have open you see over here nothing here if i refresh boom my new project is here you see over here guys so my new project is already here you open it driver inside of chrome driver if you go to the src basic test skip base you see my code and you see this line which changes and it's already there so the first time what you did again we're going to recap one by one so first we create a one First, we create a one repository. New repository is the git demo. Okay, so a git demo. This name has to be same like a as same like as a, your project name. So now I already have project. We don't have project. Create one project. Second, what you did? I open it with IntelliJ our project. This project. After open the project, what I did? I put the git init command over here. Git init. That means I initial the git. After that, I get it on these things. Okay. So cool. So now then I change something in my work. So then I commit it. Right click, right click, git, commit directory. After commit directory, you commit and pull commit. After commit done. So what is the second? Or then what I did over here, we put already git remote add origin. Okay, this one git remote add origin this command so if you do first time you will be not getting written anything here okay you will be see only your is nothing else you're gonna see then you use the over here git push your origin master when you push you will be see here over here like this things over our object is showing here so when you're done go back your page and refresh you will be see your project is here so that's it for today guys uh we will be talk to you uh very soon in a second there's some basic command about git uh for jenkins uh through intelligent so see you soon and uh, have a great day